Because we're talking about favourite signs, I think the favourite sign I saw recently was I prefer fromage to farage. <laughs> well, yes, as has been said, I'm an Irish citizen, and we, as you know, have been coming to this country for centuries. We have been coming to this country for centuries. We are at the moment the second largest EU migrant group after the Poles. There are about 400,000 of us. And we've been in this situation before, back in the 60s, when Enoch Powell tried to deport migrants en masse and so on. There was a joke during the rounds, a rather black joke, which said the only reason why Powell hadn't picked out the Irish was because every Englishman had an Irish grandmother. And of course, we can now see the reality of that with a rush for Irish passports at the moment, when lots of people are discovering that they do have Irish grandmothers. But we have to be very aware of what's happening with the rise in xenophobia, the rise in racist attacks and so on, much of it directed against EU citizens. Recently, I believe, last week in Lewisham, a number of Spanish restaurants, Polish shops, and a German business were attacked. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the Pandora's box which the Brexit campaign has opened. And many of the people, of course, who've opened the box having seen what emerges, are now running away and pretending they have nothing to do with it. But we must campaign vigorously against any indications of this, wherever we meet it, whether it's in dialogue, whether it's in conversation, whatever, in print and media, we must campaign actively against it. And this week, Time Out magazine ran uh, a four interviews with various EU citizens uh, living in London. And there was a Spanish woman interview and she spoke about what she called patronizing xenophobia. People saying, don't worry, Maria, you know, they might deport everybody else, but you're okay. You've been here for 23 years, you've got a nice job, and so on. And she wrote, I don't want personal protection. I want the laws of the country where I have lived, worked, and paid taxes for 23 years to be fair to me because I have the right to be here. And I think that should be our demand for all our citizens living in this country. And I want to send a clear message to uh, Theresa May, who considers it okay to use EU citizens as some sort of pawns in a perverted chess game with the EU. We are not prepared to accept that, and we are going to vigorously oppose that. But I also want to say to the Labour Party, there must be no backsliding on free movement. Any deal must include free movement. If there can be free movement for capital, there must be free movement for people. And to those Labour MPs looking now busily to the right, be warned, because we will be on your back over that. And as others have said before, we must work together with all progressive forces across Europe. We will work with our sister parties, but they must in Spain, Die Linke in Germany and others, we will work together to find a European solution to this and to oppose the xenophobia and racism of Brexit. Finally, I want to say 